So today you got to see Ash or sorry, Ashley in the video that we just played our new intro video. So cool. Um, Ashley has been doing hair for just under two decades. She's had an incredible career where she, you know, has really focused on highly textured hair. And she is a salon owner. She is a mentor. She is a tech expert. She is a Sambi ambassador. She is a Mazani artist. So as you can hear, she is incredibly busy, but she's cultivated an incredible multicultural team and clientele at her salon. And that gives her the tools and access to continue her mission of diversifying and inclusivity throughout our incredible industry. So please let's welcome in the chat, Ashley Brown. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Thank you so much for that wonderful welcome, that warm welcome. Um, I was so excited to see that video. That's the first time I saw it. It looks so amazing. So, it turned out awesome. Um, yes, I'm actually just going to move my comments so I can see everybody's chat. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Super excited to be here with you today. As Andrew said, I usually focus um, you know, my education on, on mid to high texture types, so curls, um, waves, or I should say curls, coils, zigzag coils, but today we're gonna focus on waves. We're gonna focus on some waves. So I have my after mannequin just to kind of show you what we're about to get into today. So we have two different styling techniques, and then we're also gonna talk about some um, healthy hair habits for the winter time. So go ahead and drop in the chat. Let me know where you're from, where you're joining from as I start to get my mannequin prepared. Um, this is a nice little trick we use when we're practicing on mannequins, when we're working on clients in the salon is keeping that plastic cap on so that it keeps the hair nice and saturated. So please welcome to the floor, um, Carmen San Diego. I decided to name her Carmen. Um, this is our beautiful mannequin today. This is the exact same mannequin as the after mannequin that I just showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and saturate her a little bit. So we are gonna get into some wash and go techniques for wavy to um, like slightly wavy hair, slightly curly hair. Cause sometimes you have guests that come in and let me grab her after, actually her before, and they look like this, right? They'll come in, they'll be like, you know what? I think my hair's kind of wavy. I think it's kind of curly. I never know what products to use. It always ends up frizzy. How can I enhance my texture, right? Put texture in the chat box if you've ever had that happen, where a guest has come in, or if you're tuning in and you're not a stylist, but you are a customer, you're a client, you're a guest who might come in, have you ever experienced that? Go ahead and drop in the chat if you have. And while you're dropping that, I'm just gonna grab my products here. So I'm gonna use the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk, and this is what I'm going to use to detangle her, all right? So we're gonna get Carmen detangled. I'm just gonna kind of evenly saturate with the 25 Miracle Milk here. It's the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. It's my favorite product. And let me see, I see some people dropping texture, so everybody, Looks like a lot of people have experienced that. I see some people tuning in from Florida. Oh, I'm so jealous. I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it is so cold here. It's not as cold as it's going to get, but it is chilly to say the least. So I am definitely jealous of that Florida action there. All right, so I'm just detangling her and I'm starting at my ends and working my way up, okay? So we always start at the ends and work our way up so that we are not causing any stress and any mechanical damage, all right? We want to be as gentle as possible. Martin said, I'm sorry. It's okay, Martin. I love it here too. I definitely love having four seasons and we just bundle up, right? We just have to bundle up in the winter time. All right. So I have her nice and detangled. And so on half the head, I'm going to demo um, one way to do this wash and go for the lower texture type. And on the other half, I'm going to demo the second way. All right. We're going to use the same products for both halves because we want to enhance her natural texture. So everybody drop in the chat box, enhance. And I'm just gonna drop this down a little bit. And I'm gonna show you my little texture key here. So on the Mazzani team, we refer to texture in eight different texture types. Just make sure that's nice and close. So we are going to be focusing on, oh, let's see, where am I? All right, we are gonna be focusing on texture types one and two, or I'm sorry, two and three, okay? So texture types two and three, this is backwards for me, so sorry about that. But as you can see, texture types two and three, they are going to be your looser texture types. You have open waves and wavy, all right? So everybody drop in the chat box, open waves and wavy. That's what we're focusing on today. 
All right, so I prepped her with the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk, right? Love the Miracle Milk. And now I'm going to prep her with the Cocoa Dew. All right, so Cocoa Dew is a product from Mazzani. It is a styling and restyling product. So it's a, it's a pre-styling styling product and a restyling styling product. So what that means is if you feel like you need a little bit more hold, a little bit more curl definition, you can put it on the hair as a pre-styler before you actually add your styling product. If you sleep at night and your hair gets a little crazy after you've worn it curly and you want to refresh it, then you can use it as a restyler to help refresh, reduce the frizz, reduce um, you know any sort of lack limp curl that you're getting. You can use that, spray it on, scrunch it, diffuse it again to give you that curl, right? So now we have the True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion. All right, this is one of my favorite products and I'm going to be putting it on her hair section by section. So I'm gonna bring her nice and close so we can see her. All right, I love, love, love Mazzani. Thank you so much. We, we love Mazzani too. All about the texture love here. All right, so we'll turn her, make sure we can see her. And if you need me to turn her around at all, just definitely drop it in the chat box. I got an eye on my chat so I can move her around however best you know you can see her that's what i want to do for you today all right so you can see after her hair is nice and saturated after we have the cocoa dew on you can see it's still pretty limp right her her curl definition it's still pretty limp still pretty flat kind of straight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of my curl enhancing lotion right i'll show you how much so just a little bit all right it, this, I would say, is a little bit bigger than a pea size amount, about a dime size amount, and I'm gonna emulsify it in my hands. Start at the mid shaft, work my way down to the ends, and then work it through the root area, okay? The amount of product you use is going to be based on the porosity of the hair, okay? If she's really porous, you're gonna need to use some more product to control that porosity so it doesn't dry too fast, all right? Next up, I'm going to grab my Samvia Nine Row brush. All right, so we have our nine row brush here, the Signature Series nine row. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that that product is evenly distributed, okay? Once it's evenly distributed, we're going to do, make sure you can see this, we're going to do um, a curl with the brush, all right? So I'm coming up from underneath. You see I'm holding the brush up with tension because I wanna make sure that I'm getting as much height and volume as possible, all right? So I'm coming from underneath. I have my handle on the opposite side, all right? So I'm working on this side of the head. The handle of the brush is on the opposite side and I'm going to start to curl, okay? And I'll do this again so that I can give you a better angle as well. I will start to curl around the handle of the brush, okay? So that's gonna give you this nice little curl we have here. All right, so I'm gonna do that again and then I'll grab a white sheet of paper so you can really see this curl come to life. And just to separate this hair, I'm gonna grab one of my dry sectioning clips from Sambia. Yes, they are dry sectioning clips, but you can also use them on wet hair and they actually work really well on mid, medium to high texture types. So those curl, curls, coils, and waves. All right, so I'm gathering my next section. Again, you can see it's pretty limp. So we're putting some of the True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion on there, same amount, so just about a dime size amount. Emulsify it in my hands, and I'm going to pull it mid shaft to ends first, and then put it on the root. Does anybody know why we might put it on the mid shaft to ends first before we put it on the root area? Go ahead and drop it in the chat box. And I see we have a question. Where can I find the nine row for sale? So the Samvia nine row, the signature series nine row brush, it is on the website. So if you just go on the website and look at the brushes, it is on there and it is part of the Black Friday sale because everything's part of the Black Friday sale. So go ahead and check that out. So again, I'm just brushing through to evenly distribute the product. And now again, I'm working on this side of the head, okay? the handle of the brush is pointing towards the other side. So if I was working on this side, my handle would be pointing this way, okay? So depending on what side you're working on, the handle is pointing the opposite way. So you're gonna come up, and I'm gonna switch this way so we can make sure you can see really well. So I'm coming up so I have good tension, right? Nice volume in there. And then I'm just going to twist the brush, and you see how the hair is being twisted around the handle, 
but it's still being, the ends of the hair are still being smoothed in the brush. All right, so I'm twisting the brush, twisting it around the handle. And then I have this kind of loose coil that has been created. I'm just gonna give it a little scrunch. Okay, and then move on to the next section. So let me grab my white sheet of paper. Wipe off my hands here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, is there a reason you prefer the first curl being curled towards the face? Um, personal preference for your guest. Great question, Karen. So, um, you know, Karen asked, is there a reason that I'm curling it towards the face? No specific reason. Um, you can definitely curl it away from the face. The main thing that you want to focus on is making sure that you're getting that root up and lifted because typically this guest with the open wave to wavy hair she wants more volume okay when we're speaking to texture types texture types two three and four typically have a tendency to be very flat at the crown and so that guest more often than not is going to ask for some lift for some volume in there all right so we'll take a look and you can see these beautiful coils here that we've created so that's quite a difference from this, right? Wouldn't you say? So you can see on this side how it's just kind of limp and scraggly looking. She looks like she needs a little help. Carmen needs a little work. And then if you look on this side, you can see the beautiful curl starting to form. All right, so we're gonna do a couple more before I move on to the next technique. And go ahead, keep dropping your questions in. I got Andrew on the ones and twos. He's gonna help me out if I miss anything. Um, and I know he'll pop in and, and ask me whatever, whatever all my friends out there need to know. All right, so we have our next section. Now you can see this next section, it's starting to get a little dry, all right? She is a mannequin, so sometimes when you get textured mannequins, they can be a little over-processed depending on where you're getting them from. Um, so she's she already came a little dry and then I color treated her, so she's even more dry and she needs a haircut. But I wanted to do this on a mannequin that wasn't cut at all so that you could see how much of a difference you can make with just by using the right products and proper technique. So you can see she's getting kind of dry there. So I'm gonna be, use my Samvia Continuous Spray Bottle. Love this thing, obsessed with it. My clients love it as well. So please check that out on the website also. So I'm just gonna make sure I really saturate this hair. So everybody type saturate in the chat box. Whenever you're working with textured hair, saturation is key, all right? So I went ahead, saturated, and now I'm just pushing that, that moisture back into the hair so that you can see the difference in that saturation. So before her ends were looking more like this. Now they're looking like this, nice and saturated. You almost want the hair to be dripping wet, okay? And I'm gonna go back in with my curl enhancing lotion. Same amount, you know, about a pea to a dime size amount. Emulsifying my hands first so that the product goes evenly on the hair shaft. Starting mid shaft to ends, making sure to really work that product in. Then I'm working up into the root area and pulling that product down. All right, so back to my Sambia 9 row brush. I'm going to brush the product through first to guarantee even distribution. And I'm gonna come up from the root. Now I started to almost do one thing wrong. If you see where my handle's pointing, if I come up this way, I can't wrap the hair around my handle. So I need to switch that handle to the point to the opposite side of that, the side that I'm working on, okay? I'm working on this side of the head, handle needs to be pointing to the opposite side, all right? So I got my brush in here, I'm wrapping it around and you can see that it's easily going through the bristles here. And now I'm coming through and making sure that it is going around the handle. All right, so I'm wrapping through, wrapping through and then just releasing that curl. And I'll zoom in here so you can see that it's just kind of like, you know, just a nice little coil and then I'm just gonna give it a scrunch. Now, if you notice, I'm avoiding scrunching the hair that I just did. The reason why I'm avoiding that is because this is starting to dry. So once you have prepped the hair, put the product in, begun to set your style into the hair, if it starts to dry, you wanna leave it alone. As I mentioned before, she's pretty porous. She's a little, um, you know, she came to me a little over-processed, then I put some highlights in there, so she's a little porous, and I didn't cut her, I haven't given her any treatments, I just prepped her for today very quickly. So because of that, if I start messing with this and scrunching the hair that I just did, we're going to end up with some problems. We're going to end up with some frizz. And the only kind of frizz we want is like good Diana Ross frizz, not like, oh my gosh, did you just climb out of bed and come to work frizz, right? All right. So next section, this will be the last section that I'm doing. And again, if you have questions about what products I'm using, why I'm using them, definitely drop it in the chat box. I'm going to go ahead and saturate one more time. 
this next section with my continuous sprayer scrunching that moisture in there so that it's really nice and saturated let's see here Danette asked will you will you put her under a hood dryer or air dry great question so that is going to be determined by the preference of the guest okay if she wants minimal volume right so if she's like you know what i want some volume at my root so that's why we're coming off the root to lift but she doesn't want like texas volume she doesn't want to be you know up to the heavens with her volume then we can set her to the dryer let her dry almost completely then take her out and begin to diffuse if she wants as much volume as possible we're going to want to diffuse so both of these techniques that I'm showing you will be dried the same way if she wants max volume, dried the same way if she wants minimal volume. So once I demo the second technique, I'm going to talk to you about how you dry both of these. All right. So I have my product, but great, great question. Thank you so much for that. I have my product nice and evenly saturated coming in, handle facing opposite side. And I am just starting to come forward. Got a lot of tension. Carmen's trying to run away from me with all this tension I have here. All right. So coming around and you see the, the curl is going around that handle and just dropping it out. Okay. And again, even though this one is on top of that first section I did, when I go through to scrunch, I'm just scrunching the curl that I just did. Okay. So you can hear the little squish, 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 just scrunching that. And you can see a little bit of product on my hands just to give me those nice curls. All right. So we have some beautiful curls coming through here. And then again, we'll show you the finish so you can see how it dries. All right. So here is that side that's dried with those same beautiful curls that I've been putting in. Okay. So you can see the difference in the volume that she has versus what she came in with, all right? Okay, so next side, same tools, same products, right? We're gonna keep it easy for you today, not too much to remember as far as that goes. Same tools, same products, different technique, okay? So we'll saturate her again for our first section. Just take the first section, just part that out. And again, I'm using my fingers to part because I wanna keep everything really soft and organic. Sometimes when you're dealing with hair that is less dense, I prefer to call a hair that's fine less dense. Um, when you're dealing with hair that's less dense, if you are too perfect with the partings, once you dry, it can be hard to get the part, part lines out, right? So that's why I'm just using my fingers to organically part. Even though I'm using my fingers, my sectioning is still pretty clean meaning I don't have a bunch of tangled hairs that are coming across that would cause an issue, um, you know, when I start to brush my section and, and start to clean up my section. Um, let's see here. So every section with on base. So starting every section with on base. Um, great question, Taylor. I am actually going to start the section on base and when I saturate and, um, emulsify, make sure my product is evenly distributed. But then I actually, and I'll do this one from the side, I actually come off base to get me some volume, right? So I'm going off base um, against the hairline to make sure that I get that lift at the hairline, okay? So again, same products, same tools, different technique, but the way I'm going about it is very similar. So great question, thank you for that. All right, so True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion because I'm working on the same model. Our Carmen over here, she's got the same porosity on this side as she does on this side. I'm using the same amount of product, all right? So emulsifying this in, mid shaft to ends first. So go ahead and drop mid shaft to ends in the chat box. I know I asked a little earlier, why would I put it on the mid shaft to ends first versus root first? Not sure if anybody answered because I didn't see that part of the chat, but I will share with you I put it on mid shaft to ends first because that's what needs the most attention. You know, her mid shaft to ends, like let's say Carmen is a client who's coming in. Let's say she's like, I don't know, 23 years old. She's like, I don't know why my ends are so dry. Her ends have been around for the longest, right? So if she's 23 years old and her hair is this long, her ends might be around for like, I don't know, five, six years. And so that means that they have seen more stress than the rest of her hair. So mid shaft to ends first, most of the product needs to go on there. And then we go through and smooth it into the root. All right. 
Same tool, as I said, I'm keeping it simple for you today. Signature series, nine row brush. I'm going to go ahead and just evenly distribute that product. Make sure that is evenly distributed. Now for this technique, this technique is so easy. I cannot wait for all of you to try it at home. It doesn't matter which way the handle goes, okay? The handle can go whichever is most comfortable for you, all right? The main thing that matters is that you're getting that lift at the root. So again, I believe it was Taylor who asked that question. You want to make sure that you get that lift and go off base, okay? So I'll show you from the side here. Move Carmen closer. Oh, but I'm getting a little hair from my other section. So I'm going to grab my dry sectioning clip and get this out of my way. Make it easier for me. Okay. All right. So evenly distributed my product and I'm going to come in and I will show you, you can see that this is going to be off base. So you see how far back I push it? That's how you're going to do each section to make sure you get as much volume as possible. All right. So I'm coming off base. And now for this one, I am coming off base and then I'm moving forward and I'm just turning my brush twice and then releasing that hair, okay? So turn the brush twice, release the hair, and you can see already she has a little more definition in there versus, right, how her hair usually looks, yikes. So a little more definition and then we're literally just going to take and scrunch. And I want you to... Hopefully you can hear the little squeaking as I'm scrunching because that's what you want to hear. You want to make sure that the hair is fully saturated, that you have enough product. And if you're hearing a little like squish, squish, squish when you do that, that's how you know. If you don't hear a squish, you probably either don't have enough moisture or you don't have enough product. So you'll need either more water or more products. So you can see already that that is getting more definition versus her texture type as it dries naturally. Okay. Now go ahead and drop in the chat box. If you've been watching since the beginning, I mentioned what texture type she is, okay? We have texture types one through eight on the Mazzani texture key. Go ahead and drop in the chat box, what texture type is she? So some might look at her and think, oh my gosh, she's straight, right? Because look at how straight and, and crazy her ends look. But that's because she needs more product, she needs more moisture. We're gonna hook our girl Carmen up. So while I'm spraying this, go ahead and drop in the chat box what texture type is Carmen? So I'm saturating. I'm making sure that I'm pushing that moisture into the hair. Now I'm going in with my Mizani True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion. I got a dime to a pea size amount, which you may think this is a lot, but as I said, her hair is very porous. She needs the product and she needs the moisture, okay? So emulsify the product in your hands. Mid shaft to ends, working that product through. All right, Krista said texture type two to three. Hannah said two to three. Great job, everybody. Yes, everybody's putting the right texture type. I love it. All right, so mid shaft to ends, making sure I get the root area as well. You don't wanna forget the root area. It would be horrible if we finished Carmen's hair and her mid shaft to ends are super beautiful, laying beautifully, beautiful curl, but then her root area is getting frizzy because we didn't apply enough product, all right? So next up, same thing as before. Samvia Nine Row Brush Signature Series, and I'm going through and evenly distributing that product, okay? And now as you can see, I'm over-directing this off base because I wanna lift and give her volume, okay? Over-direct off base, and I'm just turning my brush once, turning my brush twice, and releasing that hair, okay? Once I release that hair, you can see it really doesn't have it really doesn't have as much definition yet. So I'm just gonna kinda shake that section and then scrunch, all right? If you have a tendency to scrunch when you're working with curls, coils, and waves, put scrunch in the chat box. If you don't put, no way, Ash, no scrunching over here. Just put no way, Ash, if you are not one to scrunch. I'm a scruncher, so I, I like to scrunch that hair, make sure I'm getting some really nice curl definition. We also call that, I, I would say the professional term nowadays is encourage the curl, right? We, we like to have um, the right vocabulary when we're speaking with our guests so that they're like, oh my gosh, I never thought of it that way. You know, it elevates us as the professional. So you can tell your guests, I'm encouraging the curl. And if they're like, wait, I think I do that at home. Is that like scrunching? Ding, ding, ding. You can say, yes, you are the winner. It is the same thing. 
All right, so next section, I'm gonna do this one with Carmen facing forward so you can really see how I'm over-directing back because I'm over-directing off base to lift and then pulling it forward. All right, I'm seeing tons of scrunches. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any no way ash, so I'm assuming everybody is out there scrunching their life away. So we're saturating first because again, saturation is key. Yes, Martin, encourage that curl, you know it. Must encourage the curl, it is a must. I mean, let's be honest, so many ladies and gentlemen are embracing their natural texture. They're embracing their curls, coils, and waves, and they wanna see them. They wanna see them come out, they wanna see them live their best life, and I wanna see it too. So I'm with that, I don't know about you, but I'm with that. So again, applying our True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion from Mizani. Make sure that it's evenly distributed on my hands. Mid shaft to ends first, okay? So we're pulling that through the mid shaft to ends, making sure that product's really getting in there. Putting it on the root area next. And now let's talk about the size of the section. So as I mentioned, Carmen's hair is pretty porous, okay? And she's not very dense, right? Remember I said that I don't refer to hair as fine, I say less dense, right? Because our, our guests like that. They prefer to hear less dense than fine. So um, because she's less dense, I can take a larger section. So I'll show you my section size here. You see it's a nice organic section, but it is clean, okay? I don't have any weird hairs coming from all sides. It's, it's pretty clean, even though it's organic, okay? Now, if she had extremely dense hair, my section would probably be a third of this size, okay? If she really wants to see some nice definition in her hair, I wanna take smaller sections so I have more control. All right, so I'm gonna evenly distribute my product first. Now I'm coming, over-directing back, okay? So I'm over-directing this hair back. Then I'm going to come up forward, okay? So I'm bringing this forward so you can see, and I'm going around once, twice, and then releasing that hair. And you can see, this is a really good section to show you, I'll bring her in close. Look at how straight that looks, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly lift and shake, okay? You see I'm being very gentle with that curl. By lifting and shaking, you can already see that texture start to come out and be encouraged. Once I've lifted and shaken the hair, I'm then going to make sure I'm only taking that section I just worked on. And I can tell because the hair underneath is already starting to dry. So I'm only going to take that section and scrunch, okay? And I'm hearing my little squish, squish, squish. That's what I wanna hear. And you can see how we took that piece from looking straight to now looking nice and wavy, all right? So you can see she's got some nice waves going there. So, we're going to bring out the before and then bring out the after so you can see the difference. All right. So let me wipe off my hands here because they're slippery. So here is Carmen's before. So I have tons of mannequins with me. Here's her before. So this is essentially how she came out of the box. All right. So you can see she's pretty limp. Her ends, you know, are pretty straight. They don't really have too much curl or wave going on. Um, you know, I did wash her and put some Mizani 25 Miracle Milk in her hair. She was a little frizzier right out of the box, but you can just see that, you know, she's got some wave, it's pretty, but oftentimes this guest with this texture complains about not enough volume as well as frizz. So you can see if you look at her hair that she definitely is flat at the root, all right? So we wanna get rid of some of that flatness at the root and we're gonna do that by the way that we hold our brush and over directing to get that volume. So we'll bring out her completed look here. All right, so let's talk about shrinkage, okay? So shrinkage is how much the curl, the percentage that the curl shrinks up. Now, typically texture types three and four, um, which we're working on a, on a two, three, right? So texture types three and four are going to have up to 20% shrinkage. Now, Carmen, because she's a two, three, not a three, four, she's kind of a two, three, got some twos in there. She has much less than 20% shrinkage. Like she probably has like maybe 15% shrinkage, okay? So when you are deciding with your guests what style you wanna go for, you also have to speak to shrinkage and how much volume. If she wants tons of volume on top, but doesn't want a lot of shrinkage, um, she's gonna have to choose which is more important. If the volume is more important, then you're gonna go for more of that, you know, taking your Sanvia nine row brush, curling it around the brush handle to give you that more perfect curl, 
Okay, so once you have that more perfect curl and you go into diffuse, that's going to give you tons of volume, as you can see on this side, and curl definition. Now, the other technique we showed you, curling it around the nine row brush twice, that is still going to give you some volume depending on how you diffuse it, but you can see the elongation in the curl here. So you're definitely not getting as much shrinkage on this side as you are on this side, okay? And I actually have a couple pins in here that I'm going to take out too. I did her last night and it's so cold in my little room here, my breezeway where I teach. So I had to make sure I pinned her a little bit so that she wouldn't go limp from the cold weather. All right, so, but you can see here, I did not cut her. This is how she came. So she's the same length in the back and you can see the difference in the shrinkage here, okay? So that curling it around the brush handle is going to give you more shrinkage. Now let's talk about how do we dry her hair, all right? So I'm gonna use my Sambia Pro Ionic Dryer, right? So this is my Pro Ionic Dryer Deep Bowl Diffuser. Now when I'm drying this guest, I want to use low airflow because we want to prevent frizz, okay? Low airflow is best until she's like 75 to 80% dry. And even then, like I prefer 90% dry because I like that insurance. I don't wanna give her frizz unless she wants it. And so if she's like 80 to 90% dry, then I'm gonna have more success with a higher airflow. So low airflow, but you can do a high heat setting. You can do medium to high heat setting. Obviously you wanna be conscious of keeping your guest comfortable. If it's too hot for her, turn it down. But this is gonna give you maximum volume. So either technique you're doing, you can dry the same way based on what your guest desires, okay? So you're gonna take your Sambia Pro Ionic Dryer. This thing is super lightweight. I love it, very ergonomically friendly for somebody who works behind the chair regularly. You're gonna take this and you're gonna oscillate. Everybody type oscillate in the chat box. If you don't know how to spell it, just put the letter O. I'm with you there. So go ahead and oscillate because this is going to set the product, okay? So we're oscillating just for like maybe 10, 15 seconds, making sure that we're setting a cast on the product so it can start working, start doing its job, and really help to prevent that frizz. Once we finish oscillating, we're going to do the blow dry dance. Okay, so the blow dry dance, very simple. Clients have fun doing it. You're gonna go right, right, left, left, forward, forward, back, back, okay? So one side, next side, forward, back, okay? So that is exactly what we did with Carmen here. We did with one side, went in, hold it, come out. Go in, hold it, come out. Now, as I said before, once the hair starts drying, we are not touching it at all. The only thing that is touching the hair is our deep bowl diffuser, okay? Just the, the prongs of the deep bowl diffuser, that is what's going in and touching that hair. So she comes to the first side, we're tilting her this way. She comes to the second side, right? We're going in, we're going in. We're tilting her forward, going in, diffusing, going in, diffusing. Okay, and then we're having her tilt backwards. Okay, going and diffusing it backwards. So now the key obviously is the comfort of our guest. We, we don't wanna use heat that's too high and uncomfortable for them. If they don't mind the heat, you can go high with the heat. But then also when they're doing the blow dry dance, make sure they're comfortable in your chair. You don't want them to leave and be like, I had to visit the chiropractor after my last visit. So an easy way to make sure they're comfortable is use the chair. If you have arms on the chair, when they tilt their head to the side, they're gonna go like this while you come in from underneath to diffuse, okay? Same thing, Show, um, elbow is on the arm of the chair, they're holding their head, so you can come in and diffuse, okay? When they go forward, same thing, tilt their head forward, have them carefully do that, do not have them throw their head forward because we don't want them falling out the chair. Tilt their head forward, you can place, you can lightly, tip and place their hair forward so you can get maximum volume, but have them put their hand, their um, chin in their hands and their elbow on their knees so they're supported. And then last but not least is the back. Have them slide all the way down in your chair and rest their neck on the back of their chair, on the back of your styling chair. So that's just gonna make it so much easier for them to comfortably get the most volume, okay? So this is maximum volume. Now we had a question earlier could you put them under the hooded dryer? Absolutely you could. If she is the type of guest who's like, you know what, I want some volume, but I don't necessarily want maximum, you could put her under the dryer, let her dry like maybe 30 to 40% under the dryer, and then have her come out and start diffusing. 
So then she's still going to get some volume, but it's not going to be max volume. Okay. So this is going to be what we would consider um, texture manipulation. Okay. Or I'm sorry, texture in. So at Mazzani, we define texture in three different phases. We have texture manipulation, texture in, and texture out. So texture in is when you're actually setting the hair in a way before you dry it. Okay. So I would say this side that we actually set it around the brush gave her that curl. That's going to be texture in, whereas this side where we just did the two curls with the brush and scrunched, this is more manipulation, just enhancing her natural texture. It's not really setting it. Whereas you can see this side, it almost looks like we curled it, right? It almost looks like we took like a, a one inch barrel and just curled it and left the curls, um, you know, un, unpulled apart. So if you will. So I'm just going to show you what her texture looks like if you would just do a classic wash and go, okay? So every type wash and go in the chat box because a classic wash and go would essentially be putting that product in, taking your Sambia nine row brush, and you're just putting the product in, combing it down or brushing it down, maybe giving it a scrunch and moving on, all right? So a classic wash and go, very quick. You're just putting your product in methodically as we did section by section, but you're just brushing and scrunching. You're not necessarily worrying about lifting off base, you know, to get you volume at the root. You're just putting the product in. So this is, again, same mannequin. Her hair's a little shorter, but this is her classic wash and go. So you can see Carmen can come into you and get three different looks based on what Carmen's going for using all the same product. Okay, all the same product, all the same tools. It's just the technique that you're doing that's going to give her the different look. All right, so you can see how different this is. So this is your classic wash and go. This is going to be your curl with your nine row, um, Sambia nine row brush, right? Off base curl coming around the handle of the brush. And then this side is just going to be using your nine row brush and curling it at the ends twice and doing a little scrunching, okay? So that is the difference. Now you might ask, what does it look like if you are doing it on a different texture type? because you can absolutely use this technique on a different texture type. I'm gonna show you. I went a little nuts with my mannequins, I hope you don't mind. We're gonna put Carmen away for a second and we're gonna bring out Amber, okay? So Amber is going to be more of your, let's bring out our texture key so you can see. Amber is gonna be more of our texture type three and four. So she is more wavy, right? Wavy to curly, all right? So she's got a little more, a little more pep in her step with her curls. But you can see here the difference in the curl definition. Okay, so same exact technique, different products. All right, because she's a little bit curlier, I wanted a little more control. So I went in with the Mazzani foam wrap. So I still prepped her with the 25 Miracle Milk, but, um, and I still prepped her with the Cocoa Dew to give her that volume, that hold. All right, so 25 Miracle Milk, Cocoa Dew to prep. And then each section made sure it was saturated used my, my Sambia nine row brush, but prepped it with the foam wrap. So section by section, I applied the foam wrap to it. The foam wrap, it's like a liquid, but then when you shake it up, that's when it becomes the foam and it's very easy to use. Works great for all textures, okay? So you can see she's got her nice definition. So that's the side that we went around the brush handle. And then on the other side, she just has kind of like that softer, you can see she's got some definition, a little bit more elongation, but this side is gonna give you more definition and um, more volume, okay? So that is our amber mannequin. And this is amber before. So again, just for some perspective. So this is how amber comes, but then this is how she looks with the proper products and the proper technique, okay? And then again, for perspective, if I did a classic wash and go on Amber, she's looking like this. So again, we had Carmen come in. She got three different looks using the same products. Guess what? Amber can come in and get three different looks using the same products as well. Okay? So you can see with the classic wash and go, she still gets some nice definition. It's just going to give you a little bit of a different look. Using the brush and giving that volume is just going to give her much more lift at the root versus she's a little flatter at the root with the classic wash and go. All right? So that's the difference. And then last but not least, we have my absolute favorite mannequin, Janet, from Pivot Point. Okay? So this is Janet's before. This is how she comes. All right, she's moving, she's grooving, she's rocking, she's rolling. And then this is Janet with 
after our nine row, after she visited our Sambia nine row signature series brush, this is our Janet. So again, you can see the difference in the curl definition and the amount of shrinkage, okay? You can see how perfect her curls are on this side and they're a little bit more shrunken. But the nice thing about this is she has some stretch at her root. So the higher up you get with the texture, doing something like this, it's going to give you a little bit more stretch, a little more softness at the root, so that then when you unravel these curls and separate them, you're gonna see some really nice curl definition around her face, but it's not gonna have as much shrinkage because this kind of pulls that out a little bit. So for Amber, we use different products, but again, or I'm sorry, for Janet, we use different products, but again, you can give Janet three different looks with the same products. So for her, we prepped her with the Mazzotti 25 Miracle Cream, okay? So the Miracle Cream is gonna be a little more moisturizing than the milk. It's for higher texture types, right? Because Janet is much higher than Carmen and Amber. And then we went in with, again, the Cocoa Dew, because we wanted to give her some really nice curl definition, some really nice holds, and then the Mazzani True Textures Perfect Coil Oil Gel. So the Perfect Coil Oil Gel is great for higher texture types. All right, I'm just checking. What about fingering out those big curl formations, Danette? Absolutely. So I wouldn't, so after you have dried and diffused, all three of, the, of my clients, Carmen, Amber, lovely Janet, all three of them are dried the same way. If they want maximum volume, we are going to be diffusing, scrunching, doing the blow dry dance, scrunching with the, I should say scrunching with the diffuser, right? Putting it in and out to give it kind of that diffuse scrunch, maybe kind of doing a little massaging to really get some volume at the root. Now, if she doesn't want a lot of volume, which Janet was like, you know what, I want some volume, but not a ton, you can put them under the dryer. So Janet actually sat under the dryer overnight so that she could be nice and dry for all of us today. Okay, so all three of these looks, I use the same product for Janet on both sides. And then also her classic wash and go, same product. Okay, same product for Janet for all three looks. Now, how you unravel the look, we're gonna use the Mazzani um, 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil for that. Okay, so I'll zoom in here so you can see it, 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil. And I'll just kind of show you, it's very liquidy. All right. So we'll just pump some in the hands. Make sure I don't squirt it here. There we go. So I have some pumped in my hands and you can see that it's a very, like a liquidy consistency. So I'm just gonna, again, emulsify, saturate my hands with it. And I'm gonna go through and scrunch that into the hair. All right. Once I have that scrunch into the hair, I can go through and unravel these curls and separate them. Because again, when you're separating them, that's just gonna kind of create a little more volume around her face, give her a little more curl action. Most guests wouldn't necessarily want to leave with their hair in a perfect curl like this because it can kind of remind them of like Shirley Temple, you know, it's like a little too perfect. So you're gonna wanna go through and begin to separate those curls. And you can even take your hands and start to massage at the root to separate them that way as well. So you can see already, how I'm starting to get some nice volume on this side. Put the white paper behind so you can see. She's getting some nice volume by massaging at the root. And then we're gonna give her some even more volume by separating those ends. All right, so just going through and separating. She's got the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil on there so that we don't get frizz because we don't want unwanted frizz, okay? And that can be a huge concern for your textured hair guests. So your guests with curls, coils, and waves, they're gonna be like, I don't want frizz, I'm so sick of the frizz. So we just go through and separate those. I have some 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil on my hands still, so that's really keeping it from getting frizzy as well. And you can see how much nice curl definition she has. So again, remember, Janet, we dried her under the hood dryer, right? So we did not diffuse. We did not want her to get tons of volume at the root because she naturally has volume, all right? She's going to be closer to our texture type four and five, which typically they get, you know, some volume at the root and then lots of volume kind of in here creating a crescent shape. So we wanted to make sure we softened some of the volume at Janet's root, but then still gave her that curl definition and volume around her face. So you can see how that's kind of 
coming together nicely. All right. Same thing for the other side, 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil, because again, she might not want to leave with her curls super perfect like this. So you're going to want to put that 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil in there, scrunch that into the hair, give her some shakes at the root, go on at the root area, give her some shakes, massage it to really start to break up that curl. Once the hair is 80 to 100% dry, depending on the porosity, you can really get in there and start manipulating. As the hair is drying again, no hands, right? As the hair is drying with our proionic dryer, we are literally just going like this. We are not putting our hands on the hair until it's almost completely dry because we only want good frizz, not bad frizz. Now, you might ask, what if my guest has really long hair and it doesn't easily go in the dryer? You can definitely take your fingers and pinch and place it into the diffuser, right? And come up like this. But you don't want to be just like grabbing it and manhandling the hair. Like you wanna be very gentle, very kind to the texture, very delicate when you're pinching and just putting it into that diffuser so you're not creating frizz. Now, same thing for Carmen, for our girl Carmen San Diego. We're doing the same thing for her. 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil from Mazzani, all right? Putting some in her hands, emulsifying. Now for her, because she's a lower texture type, I don't need as much nourishing oil, all right? So the amount that I put in my hands, I can actually just kind of like scrunch throughout. This is gonna be more than enough oil for her to have throughout her hair because she wants to keep that volume. We don't wanna weigh it down, okay? So again, I'm just scrunching it through to make sure that then when I break up her curls, she's got some nice volume, some nice movement. Go in massage. Again, don't be afraid to go in there and start breaking up that hair. My clients love when I do this. They're like, oh, I got a scalp massage at the bowl, getting a scalp massage here at the chair, just to break that up, all right? So you can see that just by doing that, begins to break up those curls a little bit, adds a little bit of shine, the nourishing oil, add a little bit of shine, and then you can even go through here and break up some of these curls this way as well. Really just depending on what your guest is going for. We had a question, do you have to have your brush curling towards the face? You absolutely do not. If she didn't want the curls coming towards her face, you would just take your brush, still go off base. We're still gonna point the end away from the section we're working on, and you're gonna come in and turn it away from her face, all right? Now, tips for care and maintenance during the winter time. Put winter in the chat box if you live in a climate that gets cold, okay? Textured hair has to be treated with a little more love, kindness, and care in the cold weather. So what that means is regardless, you should be sleeping with a silk pillowcase and wrapping your hair at night, okay? Silk pillowcase, that's going to help to keep the hair moisturized. If you have a cotton pillowcase, your cuticle is going to be rubbing against your pillowcase and it can open your cuticle further, causing it to be dry, causing it to easily break, and so on and so forth. Okay, so silk pillowcase, and then you also wrap it. The silk pillowcase is insurance in case your wrap falls off at night, okay? So if she wants to preserve her style for as long as possible during the winter time, we're gonna send her home with either the Mazzani 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil or the Coconut Souffle, okay? So the Coconut Souffle is a hair dressing. It's more of a cream consistency, whereas as you saw the Nourishing Oil, it's gonna be a little bit more liquidy, so I'll show you the cream consistency there. So it's like a nice creamy product. So this or this can work for any texture type. So again, making it easy for you to work behind the chair and efficiently and effectively retail to your guests. Both these products will work for any texture type. You're just gonna adjust how much you use, all right? So lower texture type, less dense hair, less product. Higher texture type, higher density hair, and higher porosity, more product, all right? So your guest is going to apply her product at night, right, because we wanna keep that cuticle nice and healthy. Once she has her product in there, nice and applied, nice and healthy, then we are going to either have her pineapple her hair, so she's gonna pull it all the way up into a pineapple, and she's gonna use a scrunchie and just put that scrunchie around her pineapple one time, keep it nice and loose, right, keep her curls up there, and she's gonna either sleep like this on her silk pillowcase or put on a silk bonnet. 
Okay. So silk pillowcase or silk bonnet. Um, I prefer both. My husband actually has locks. And so you care for locks in a similar fashion. And I make him sleep with a silk bonnet. This is actually his. So Eric, if you're watching, this is yours. I borrowed it. Um, and we all have silk pillowcases. So both him and I use a silk pillowcase because that's what's going to keep our hair as healthy and moisturized as possible. Okay. So you're applying your product, pineappling the hair, and then putting a bonnet on. And I still have the pillowcase for extra insurance. Okay. So you can pineapple using a scrunchie, all right? You can also pineapple. Mazani, we have these things called lacers. Lacers make a great tool to pineapple as well. You want to do something that's going to keep it really nice and loose, okay? So if she shakes her hair, it almost falls off on its own. Because if it's too tight, it will create lines and dents, and we want to preserve this style as much as possible. So she can either pineapple her hair, or she can take large sections and retwist it. Okay, so she can take large sections and just twist it and pin it with a bobby pin and have all these twists all over her head pinned, put her bonnet on and have her, her silk pillowcase. All right. If your guest is wearing their hair smooth. So let's say she's like, you know what? Today, I want texture out. So Carmen comes in and she's like, I want texture out. So we give her some nice texture out. We give her some nice waves in her hair. Right. Some really nice lived in body. She's still going to use the same products before she wraps her hair. So either the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil or the Coconut Souffle. Main difference is the amount. So if she's wearing her hair smooth, she's going to use half the amount of product that she would if she's wearing her hair naturally curly. Okay. Naturally curly, the cuticle is open. It's cold outside. That's opening the cuticle further. So that's why she needs a little more product when it's in its natural state. Okay. When it's straight, you've thermally smoothed it. And so that kind of closes the cuticle a little bit. So she doesn't need as much. You're concentrating the product on her mid shaft to ends. All right. Mid shaft to ends. She is going to take her Samvia Artist Series brush, right? She's going to brush out those waves. She's got her product in. She's brushing out her waves. And then she's going to wrap her hair in a bun on top of her head. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of do this messy and people always ask me, how do you keep your hair so nice and healthy? How do you keep those waves so nice and, and shiny and soft? Cause my hair is actually naturally curly as well. Um, and this is how I sleep with my hair at night, every night. I have my silk pillowcase for insurance cause I love insurance, but then I brush my curls out, right? So I brush them out with my Sam Via Artist Series brush. I'm going to apply my product, either the Coconut Souffle or the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil brush it out, and then I'm going to put it in a bun on top of my head. And it's just a loose bun. Again, we want the bun loose enough that if I if like I were to shake my head, the bun falls out. All right. So we have our loose bun right on top of the head. And then once we have our loose bun, we take our silk scarf. And yes, this is my silk scarf that I sleep with. <laughs> Borrowed it from my bedroom as well. And we're going to wrap the silk scarf around the head also. Okay, so this is how I sleep every night. Um, my husband is so used to it. Some people are like, what did you do when you first started dating? And I'm like, this is how I slept. Like, trust and believe he preferred me having nice, healthy, beautiful hair than uh, me not sleeping with my hair wrapped at night. Okay, so tie my scarf around. All right, and this is how I sleep. And again, I still have my silk pillowcase because I want to make sure that if my scarf falls off for any reason, my hair is still protected by my silk pillowcase. All right. So this is how I sleep. And then in the morning, I don't even futz with trying to untie my knot here. I literally just take the silk scarf from the back and just pull it up and off. Okay. Pull my scrunchie out, shake my hair out, and I'm good to go. Okay. So I shake my hair out. I might apply a little bit more of my product, either the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil or the Coconut Souffle. I might even brush my hair out again with my signature series brush just to make sure that that product is evenly distributed, but I'm good to go. You know, I don't have to reapply heat. I can keep my hair nice and healthy and moisturized through the winter time by just doing that. So I'll go ahead and I have so many mannequins. I don't know where to put them all. I'll go ahead and just recap what we did because again, remember we came on here initially for Carmen San Diego for a lovely model and let's just recap. So we said she is a texture type two, three naturally two threes have a tendency to be flat at the crown. So they usually want volume. All right. Here's her before. Okay. So you can see how flat she is at the crown. She wants some more volume. 
She's starting to create a slight triangle here. She wants to get rid of that. So we can do that with the products and with the tools that we use. All right. So we prepped her with 25 Miracle Milk. Let me get her back on my mannequin stand. So Mazani 25 Miracle Milk, we spray that all over before detangling. This is a great detangler, 25 benefits, also protects the hair up to 450 degrees of heat. Number one selling product. If you haven't tried it, get it. It's amazing. So 25 Miracle Milk, you can use it on every texture type. We sprayed it on her hair and then we detangled her using our Sambia Signature Series 9 Row Brush. Okay, I'm moving the hair off because I've been using it and I want you to see how beautiful the brush is. So Signature Series 9 Row Brush, we detangled her mid shaft to ends first, right? All the way up until she was nice and detangled. Once she was detangled, we actually stirred it in the front because we want it to give her lots of volume. And we organically parted our sections with our fingers. We took our um, Sambia dry sectioning clips, right? Again, as I said, they're called dry sectioning clips, but you can use them on wet hair and they work great for textured hair. So we used our clips to keep our sections nice and clean. And then we began the style. I should say we use the 25 Miracle Milk, but also the Cocoa Dew when we prep the hair. So 25 Miracle Milk first, detangle using my nine row brush. Then we just sprayed the Cocoa Dew all over. This is our pre-styler, it has hold to it. It's also a restyler. So if I wanted to refresh her on day two or three, I could spray some more and diffuse a little bit to give her even more volume. Great product to use and it smells amazing. So we sprayed that all over. Then we went through section by section and applied our True Textures Curl Enhancing Lotion. A P to a dime size amount because even though she's less dense, she's got porous ends, okay? So a P to a dime size amount of this, emulsified it in our hands to make sure that it's evenly distributed in our hands before applying it to the hair. Mid shaft to ends first because those ends have been around the longest, they need the most love and care. Mid shaft to ends first, working your way to the root area, smoothing it in there, taking our brush, pointing the opposite direction of the, the side that you're working on, coming through and curling that hair around the handle of the brush and releasing it. If you need to, go in and give it a scrunch, move on to your next section. Saturation is key, so you need your continuous spray bottle to make sure that as you're working through section by section, you are continuously keeping it saturated, okay? Other technique on the other side, same exact prep, same exact products, different technique. So for this side, we're coming in and we're just pulling the hair, over directing it and then pulling it forward and going around the brush twice, all right? Over directing, then pulling it forward, going around twice, all right? So let's see, do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? So we just recap the techniques. As far as diffusing, just a reminder, you're oscillating first with your proionic dryer, setting that product in before you go in to do your blow dry dance and diffuse. And you're not touching the hair while you're drying until it's almost all the way dry. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, you you did such a great job at keeping up with the questions as they came in. I, you know. <laughs> um, Ken did actually just ask, can you spritz with water on day two to reactivate the product or is it best to add more product? Fantastic question. So the Mazani products are super nice and lightweight. So if you look at her hair, you can see that it's very touchable, very nice and lightweight. So I would actually add a little more product. Um, if she doesn't, like, let's say if on day two, she's like, I'm frizzy and I don't want more volume. I just want to reduce the frizz. Then you're going to add some of the 25 Miracle Milk. Literally just spraying it on and she can just scrunch and scrunch just to reduce the frizz. You can even scrunch this way, right? We're encouraging the curl and reducing the frizz with our fingers. So that would be 25 Miracle Milk. If she's like, I'm getting a little flat on day two, day three, and I want more volume, then you'll go in with the Cocoa Dew, okay? So again, the Cocoa Dew is your pre-styler and restyler. So you're literally just gonna mist it everywhere. And she would actually want to take her probiotic dryer and really go in and diffuse it. And that's something you can do on day one too. Like when you think about like hair that's blown out and wavy like mine, sometimes we'll go in with texture spray or hairspray to give that style more volume, more texture, more movement. You can do that with textured hair. You're just gonna use something like the Cocoa Dew. So the Cocoa Dew, if I completed her today and she's like, Ashley, I want more volume, this ain't enough. I'm gonna go in, spray her with the Cocoa Dew, diffuse again with our blow dry dance, right? And that's going to give her even more volume on day one. So great question. 
Yeah, it's fantastic. And the, the, the thing that I really enjoyed about this class is I feel like this is the kind of stuff that we don't actually hear and talked about often enough, but this is real life for our clients. Like they want to know how to maintain these things. So thank you so much for going into such incredible detail with all of that how to take care of the hair, especially during the winter. Um, I definitely learned a lot because as you can see, I definitely don't have long hair. And <laughs> but I I, I've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. And please reach out. Anybody who's watching, reach out to me on social media, on Instagram. And my Instagram is up, ash underscore hair barbie. People reach out to me all the time, all week, every week. I always respond within 48 hours if you have questions about tools, products. I'm happy to help you with your healthy hair, textured hair journey. So just reach awesome. out. Thank you so much, Ashley. Once again, just an incredible, incredible amount of information. And you're just such a brilliant resource. So thank you so much gratitude. Thank you.